Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by today. It is Sunday, 27th of June. Not sure when you'll get to see this video, probably on the Wednesday or the Thursday. And today I'm on my way to work and I am on the junction of Hollyoak Avenue, Plymouth Road, you see the hill there, leading up to the Plymouth Road Bridge, the new Aldi build there, Bispen Road, Warbreck Hill Road and down this way is Bispen Road also. And this is the way I'm heading because I'm on my way to work so let's go. It's a lovely morning in Blackpool slight breeze but nice and warm but not overly hot but it is around half seven quarter to eight in the morning so it's still early there's a block of shops there eastern spice indian bangladeshi takeaway a little shop that looks closed a little sandwich shop a bispen local store kitchens at cost, low price kitchens and a little tattoo place. Opposite that we've got the cooperative funeral care. On the right there is Broderick Avenue. And the rest of the street. A few more cars around now as we head past half past seven and head towards eight o'clock the roads normally get a little bit busier because folks are heading off to work this is a quiet road this morning not sure if it's always quiet i tend to only walk down here early morning so i only ever see it when it's quiet. I only occasionally walk down here in the afternoons. It's a fairly wide road. Some little grass verges here on pavements. Nice looking posh houses down here. Looks like a nice neighbourhood and a nice place to live. street I'm coming up to now on the left is Alston Road not sure what the street on the right is called I will take a look and see if I can see a sign can I see a sign no I can't I'm sorry maybe it's a continuation of Alston Road maybe it's a different road oh it's Stopford Avenue I've seen a sign I'm really not familiar with Bispen Street names. Let's cross this road. If I see someone walking towards me when I'm filming early morning, I always just like to cross over. Just so I'm not filming some poor unsuspecting person when they're out on an early morning walk on a Sunday morning. I mean, it's different if you're just filming generally in town and it's packed with people. But generally, people walking out in the early morning on the lonesome just want a bit of privacy. I love that building there. Those two houses behind. Look at the massive hedge and the tree. I'm going to cross back now onto the sunny side of the street. Now that lady's walked past, and we've got Sydney Avenue there to the left. And you can see that nice big building there. It's two houses actually, but I see so many houses and I think, wow, that would be an awesome place to live. And I do like my own house. I'm not ungrateful or 
like always thinking oh I wish I had this I wish I had that a lot of the times when I look at places and say oh that'd be a nice place to live or oh I'd love a sea view apartment with a whole glass side I mean wouldn't we all but I'm still happy where I am My street is nice and quiet. Going up a little hill now. It's more of a bump in the road than a hill, I suppose. Didn't really class it as a hill. That little street to the left there is Lime Grove. Let's just walk over for this little bump off a hill and get to the corner and then I'll be on the last leg of my work journey. But as soon as I get home today, even before I start editing all these videos, I am going to re-sponge my camera because I don't want to forget and then go out and have to worry about the noise. Let me see if I can see a sign and let you know what that street to the right is called. It's a little post office on the corner. There's a sign whether I'll be able to read it or not. On that side it's Hayfield Avenue. Let's see what's on the other side. Gosh, I can't see it. Let me turn. Let me see if I can walk. Salmsbury Avenue it looks like. That was a lot of effort just to find out a random street name. When I don't know street names sometimes, I always say that I'm going to go home and Google, but then I always forget. And, well, I don't always forget, I usually forget. There have been times and I've remembered. I wish I knew all the streets. I mean, I do know a lot of them. This little, what, whatever you would call it, road here I'm walking down. Used to be where Bispham High School was. Before Bispham High School, the older building was Greenland's school. My daughter actually went to Bispham High School for a while. She didn't stay there long because it wasn't my first choice when I was filling out the little schools form and I appealed for the school I wanted her in and eventually we got the appeal and was able to move so that was good but back then it was Bispham High School Arts College so they were really promoting sing and dance and acting and all that kind of stuff which is completely fine I mean it's better than fine it's excellent if that's what you want to do with your life then it was a great place to be because I remember the open night when we walked around there a lot of the facilities they had for the arts they were great it's like a stage school so if that was what you want to do then that was a fantastic place to go but that wasn't where my daughter wanted to go a block of shops there I 
I'm going to carry on and just follow this curve. I think I'm still on this spin road. Nice big tree there. Look at that, that's huge. Went through a little street there, very interestingly called Bibby's Road. Collins Avenue over there forking off to the right and this is still Bispen Road coming down here so we'll take a look to the left and we can see the squirrel beautiful old building got a carvery there and everything oh look at that hand carved roast from 4 99 always freshly carved do you know i want to go for carvery i mean not right now i mean who'd want the carvery on sunday morning <laughs> not gonna lie if it was open and i had time but yeah i am going to end this video now so yeah once again thank you for watching really thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please please hit the like button and maybe even subscribe if you're not already subscribed according to my youtube statistics gosh that's a hard word to say statistics Ugh. i'm not even going to bother trying again according to that i something like 67 percent of people who watch my videos are not subscribed they're just passing through so if you're just passing through and you'd like to stick around for a while maybe watch another video or two or three or four or five just punch that little subscribe button help me on my journey to 10,000 subscribers and i will see you all very soon in the next video goodbye <laughs>